Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. How are you tonight? So for my Aries, I'm going to go ahead and tap in and get a general overall reading. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with my Aries. Get a clear, concise message for my Aries. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Ancestors, all divine beings of the spirit realm. Anything that is not of the highest of light is not welcome to channel and must leave. Please tap in and get my Aries a general message and let my Aries know what they need to know. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying happy birthday, Aries. Happy birthday. Okay. So what does my Aries need to know at this time? What is going on with my Aries? Going on with my rams. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, Aries, let me tap into your message. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Aries signs. Um, if you do resonate to the message, Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, if you do not re resonate to the message, um, that's okay. Sometimes the message doesn't relate. We're just going to take what fits and leave the rest. If you do want a more personal reading instead of a general reading, please feel free to message me. My information is in the description box. Okay, so let's tap in and get a message for Aries. Okay, so Aries, I'm getting that you are very powerful at this time. Some of you may be feeling impatient about something. I'm getting indecisive about something as well. What else for my Aries? What else does my Aries need to know at this time? What else does my Aries need to know? Okay, so I'm getting, I'm getting that you are so feminine. Somebody thinks that, or you may have thought somebody was very feminine in the past in your energy. Okay. Um, I'm getting that somebody may be going to court for something, whether spiritual, physical, or emotional. Okay, so I'm getting somebody went to court for something in the past, whether this was physical court, emotional court, or spiritual court. Okay, somebody was being prideful. Let's see. What else is this? Somebody was being prideful. Okay, I'm getting somebody was very superficial. Okay, they didn't see you as the goddess you were. What else? For my Aries. Yeah, somebody may have even had like a fatal attraction with you. This person may have been a little dangerous. But I'm getting that you all are facing your fears piece by piece at this time and spirit wants to acknowledge you. Good job, Aries. Okay, what else for my Aries? Let's see what else we can get, Aries. What else? What else does my Aries need to know? I'm going to shuffle two more times. If nothing comes out, I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to keep going. So I don't believe there's something that's hidden there is that I'm not supposed to. Yeah, maybe you both were gaslighting each other on both ends. Maybe like you maybe you gaslighted this person in the past or they feel like you've gaslighted them in the past. I'm getting maybe you guys used to talk a lot over text. Spirit is asking you to trust your intuition when it comes to someone in Aquarius. Um, I'm getting this person isn't operating in their higher self. They are showing up in reverse. Okay. And I'm getting you may have been required to teach someone a spiritual lesson. But spirit is asking you now to wish them well and let them get their karma. Okay. 
you are being protected by the divine at this time, Aries. Okay, some of you may be um, wanting to increase your finances. Spirit is asking you to use some citrine that can help improve your finances. What else for my Aries? My birthday babies. What else for my, my Aries? Ah. This deck is so big. Okay. What else for my Aries? Yeah. Maybe you couldn't understand in the past why you had strong feelings for this person. Maybe you blocked this person in the, uh, in the past. And now you're not blocked. You've unblocked this person. Yeah. I'm getting that you may be moving on and looking forward to a new beginning at this time. Your ancestors are calling you to work on your health, Aries, at this time. Something may have happened between the months of August to September. And your crown chakra needs balancing, okay? There's a karmic in your energy also, Aries, that has hate for you. So this is probably why your crown chakra needs to be balanced. But spirit wants you to know you are protected. So regardless if somebody has hate for you, you're still being protected, okay? Okay. I'm getting this is a past person. This is Aquarius. Can't you see what you do to me? Yeah. So somebody couldn't see how much you really cared about them. They couldn't see it. Somebody didn't fight for you. Okay, they didn't fight for you. But I'm getting... Something was not fated. Okay? It wasn't fate for someone to fight. What, what wasn't fated, Spirit? Let's make sure. Hold on. What wasn't fated? All the pretty girls walk like this. This. Okay, so I'm getting some of you guys are very pretty, and somebody may like the way you walk, or you like the way somebody walked and thought they was pretty. I don't know. But that was the song that came to my head. Okay, some of you may be, um, so somebody may have had to go to spiritual jail in the past. Some of you are not in the position yet to be able to help others at the moment, but you're working on yourself so you can be soon, okay? I'm getting, Spirit is asking you to tap into your spiritual powers and your magic and awaken to your gifts. Somebody that you decided not to reconcile with was an attention seeker. Okay, this person was an attention seeker. But Spirit is saying, don't wait on this person. Do not work, do not wait on this person, please. That's what Spirit's telling you. There's somebody in your energy that Spirit does not want you to wait on anymore. Somebody went to spiritual jail and they lost. That's not a good thing. This past person I'm getting. Yeah, what did I say? That's Somebody loves the way you walk. They love the way you kiss. They love your lips. This person loves... You may like to wear nice shoes. Aries... Okay. I'm getting that some of your some of you grandfather may have passed away and this person is watching over you, your grandfather. Some of you may be getting a makeover at this time. 
Okay. Somebody may have health issues. But it's something that is curable for some of you. Okay, somebody feels like you're doing whatever to hurt them at this time. Okay, yeah, so that's what I got for that. Let's see what this is all about, Aries. There wasn't really much in that message. Let's see what we got, Aries. What is this about? Okay, let's see what this is about for my Aries. What is this about? What's going on with Aries? Going on with our Aries. I hope you're having a great birthday month, Aries. I hope you're celebrating a lot and enjoying this ever changing weather. Dandelion. Some of you may be. Uh, you know, using dandelion to do it like a kidney detox, or you should. I don't know, maybe think about that. Okay. Honeymoon. So honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Some of you may be going to someone's wedding, or you may be in the honeymoon phase in your relationship. Some of you may be traveling and catching a plane. You and someone special. Okay, I'm getting that you guys are manifesting as well at this time. Spirit is asking you to tell the universe exactly what you want. So you can get what you want from the universe. And I'm getting challenges in reverse. Okay, so you guys made a decision um, to work on your inner child. So some of you are healing right now. Okay, and with Mercury retrograde coming up. Some of you guys may be having um, or getting your cars fixed. Okay, you may be making decisions regarding a liar about somebody sneaky that's in your energy. I'm getting this person was a narcissist, someone that was too full of themselves, okay? Spirit is telling you to let this person go. And look, at the bottom of the deck, do not wait on this person. I can't make it up. Spirit is saying that you have transformed, you have changed, you have done the healing. And now you need to make room for the new beginnings that's on its way to you. One more for my Aries. One more for my Aries. Yeah, Spirit is saying don't give something time. Like, this is it. Somebody might want to confess something and tell you something at this time. Our earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But I'm hearing that it's a hard no for this person, okay? It's not the right time. Something is not the right time. Spirit is telling you do not give something a chance. Do not date this person. This person may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. You may be at a distance from this person. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Yeah, there may also be a water sign involved, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Spirit is saying, no, this person is not, it's not the time right now, okay? Yeah, someone is in the middle. There is someone trying to sabotage a connection. Somebody has somebody else at this time. Okay, that's what I got. Let's see, what else do I have for my Aries? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tap in and see what some of this is about. What's this liar? Let's clarify some of this information that we got. What is this liar that we got? Who's this liar? An Aquarius. Somebody you moved on from. You may have thought this person was a narcissist. Okay, this person was very full of themselves. I'm getting... It's a, and I'm also getting this Aquarius as a mother figure. Okay. Let 
me just double check with this narcissist card. What's this narcissist again, Spirit? Can you give me um, clarification on this narcissist? Yeah. One more. So I'm getting that um, Gemini energy. So this is somebody you had to move on from a connection. And you still think about this person I'm getting. Maybe you want, wanted to have the Ten of Cups with someone. Maybe energy, strong air energy, and earth. So you see someone as a narcissist and someone, someone, uh, okay. I'm getting that you've been introspecting over a connection with the Gemini, somebody you could have had the Ten of Pentacles with. Sometimes you think about it. A lot. And I'm feeling like uh, justice is in your favor regarding something. In a court situation when it comes to a family dynamic. I'm getting you're moving forward at this time. And you are setting boundaries. With the king of cups. I can't see Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, yeah. Somebody that hurt you. You're setting boundaries. So yeah, somebody hurt you in a in a connection, in a relationship, a higher level commitment. And this person caused a lot of setbacks. And this is why you had to recover from some sort of challenges. Some instability, possibly. But you've had clarity about something. You've had clarity. If somebody made you feel insecure, and that's why you had to close out a cycle. Somebody was a narcissist and a liar, and you had to let someone go. What is let go? What is this? Yeah, you're making a decision to move forward, I'm getting. Yeah. What I say? You're making a decision to move on. And I let something go. Let's give it time. Yeah, you're healing, Aries. Okay, what is this Mercury retrograde in reverse? Yeah, you're making a final decision. Okay, after you've been backstabbed. And had to pretend that everything was fine. You had ten swords stuck in you. And then you had to pretend for the public. Some of you are seeing in the public eye that everything was fine. And it wasn't. Yeah, you went in for a long-term commitment. And what you got was unfulfillment. And this connection. Okay? Somebody you could have felt close to. Gemini energy. Something was a bad investment. And now there's a lot of burdens. Now you may feel overburdened, Aries. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You may feel overburdened because somebody has a lot of... What is this? Before I say whether this person or you. Okay, yeah. There's, you're leaving someone out of the cold I'm getting. You're leaving this person out of the cold and you're deciding to work with a king of swords in reverse. This person... Okay, you're, you're leaving this person that was deceitful, this king of swords out in the cold that you decided to work with. This person is a narcissist, so you're focused on your healing. I'm getting this person created a lot of burdens, okay? I'm also getting that this queen of wands caused a lot of burdens, with a pregnancy, this person was attached to a third party, possibly same-sex relationship. And somebody ended up, somebody was a dark witch. Somebody was involved with a dark witch. Somebody that was into the dark arts, okay? And this person was very deceitful. This person lied. And Spirit is saying, I let this person go, okay? You may have had a family with this person. 
Okay, is there anything else that I need my Aries to know, Spirit? What else do you want my what else do you want the collective Aries to know? Not my Aries. <laughs> what else do you want the collective Aries to know, Spirit? Let me see. What else do you want the collective Aries to know, Spirit? Yeah. Something is not protected. There's a lot of imbalances in a family dynamic. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, you're moving forward towards your Ten of Pentacles. You're making a choice. Okay, you're making a choice to let it go and heal. You've had truth regarding the situation. This is Knight of Cups. Yeah, you took a naive beginning with the Knight of Cups. This gaslighter. Somebody you should have not had a beginning with. And this person was a liar. Yeah, you've had truth. And after you've had your heart broken, some of you may have caught something, may have compromised your health because of this person. And that's why you're deciding to free yourself from this person. They've made you feel insecure. Okay. Yeah, somebody made you feel um, unstable. But you've learned a valuable lesson from this toxic situation. You decided to free yourself, Aries. go you're letting something go and somebody's in regret because they want to work on something still with you but this person was deceitful that's why you decided to move forward and close out a cycle this is why you decided to let go and close this out with this empress this taurus energy this person was a liar this person was very deceitful and you may have had kids with this person you may have had uh, children with this person. You don't want to give to them anymore. You think you thought the grass was greener on the other side, but it's it's just it's just the way it looks. You find this situation hopeless, and you want to break a promise and go towards wish fulfillment. And it's not this person, not this Queen of Cups or this Empress, which some of you's mom and this person may have been working together or. Maybe this person was just the, your children's mom. But I'm getting you're trying to create distance between this person. Whether emotional distance or what. But Spirit is warning you about this person, uh, Aries. Okay, what is my final spiritual advice for my Aries? What does my Aries need to know moving forward? What's your advice for Aries? What's the advice for Aries? Okay, what's the advice for Aries? Yeah. Okay, what's this Queen of Cups? What's this Queen of Cups? Yeah, you're moving on from you're moving on from this Queen of Cups. And you're gonna be working together with somebody who's gonna help you bring in your ace of pentacles. You're moving forward though. Yeah, you've disconnected from this Queen of Cups, this person that made you feel overextended, and this person that you don't see a future with and you've had a bad experience with. You're going to start looking at your options and exploring your options. Yeah, someone can't move forward, but justice is in your favorite, favorite Leo, ener I'm sorry, Libra energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo, okay? Yeah, someone's karma is to experience the Ten of Swords. They're, they're going to be heartbroken while you move forward towards your Ace of Pentacles. And you go after the person you're actually in love with. You're actually spending a lot of time in meditation thinking about it. Okay? Yeah, you're you're definitely emotionally growing and maturing at this time. And you're going to be letting something go, a big burden go that was too much. Okay? Just keep, keep doing what you're doing, Aries. Keep moving forward at this time. Keep moving forward. Keep trusting the universe. Keep trusting the divine. 
You know what you're doing. You freed yourself from any trap. You're not trapped. Spirit said you have options, Aries. You're headed towards your will of fortune. Like the will is in your favor. You're being gifted something, okay? I'm getting you giving up something, moving on to something. You're going to be gifted something. Alrighty, Aries, that was your reading. If you do like the message, please feel free to like, like, share, and subscribe so I can do more messages for you. Bye.